So I found this really interesting Christmas tree on Thingiverse. So I decided to print that today and then decided to build this, an electronic 3D Christmas tree, and then see how they go together. I'll do that on today's Filma Friday. I found this interesting Christmas tree design on Thingiverse by user Wotadoin. I bought some of that aromatic cinnamon filament from Protopasta. I wanted to try it out. Now it's not green, but it is kind of festive, so I figured I'd try it for this. I imported it to Simplify 3D and I upsized it to 140% because I wanted it taller, just in case I wanted to put it on top of the 3D electronic Christmas tree. Then I clicked on Edit Process Settings. I'm going to print it on my Wanho Duplicator i3 Plus. And I chose 30% fill, layer height of 0.3 with three top and bottom layers and three outer shells. No additions, no skirt, no brim, uh, no supports. And temperature wise, I went with 200 degrees and cooling was enabled. And then I printed at 60 millimeters per second. And then I clicked on prepare to print and it looked good. And it said it would take three hours and 48 minutes and just over 20 meters of plastic. So it was ready to send to the printer. There's also a star that goes with this design, so I'm going to print this on my Select Mini. And I chose that profile, PLA. I'm going to use a 30% fill, and I am going to use a, a raft and supports. Now, 0.2 layer height, two top and bottom, and two shells. Uh, so I did enable raft and the additions. Support, here's what I modified a little bit. I used a 2 millimeter resolution and a 20 degree angle because it wasn't working otherwise. Uh, normal temperatures, uh, fan on, and 40 millimeters per second. Click prepare to print. You can see all the support is there. So this thing's ready to print on the mini. So I'm going to print both these guys. And this one is going to print really quick because it's only 14 minutes and not even a meter of plastic. So while the 3D prints are printing, I'm going to assemble the 3D electronic Christmas tree. And the instructions are in the card that opened up. And check this out. This circuit, does it look familiar? It's the exact same circuit that I used in my on-air display in a previous film at Friday. It's the exact same circuit, they just added more LEDs. So that's really cool. So now I need to assemble this thing and make sure I had the right parts. And check the 3D print in the corner, it's coming along fine. So the two boards slide together and then it sits on top of a 9-volt battery. So this is how the Christmas tree is, a 3D Christmas tree. So I needed to assemble the parts and the first step was to install the resistors. So I got out my resistor tester, which I did in a previous film on Friday, sorted them out into the proper values and then installed them into the right spots by bending them in this shape right here and then installed them in R1, R2, R3, wherever they were labeled that match the value. Once I had that in place, got out the soldering iron and started soldering these in place. Now these pads are bare copper, so it solders a little bit tougher, but it wasn't too bad. And once I got things heated up and going, it was easy. And then I just got out my clippers, clipped the leads, and I was ready to move on to step two, which was the electrolytic capacitor. Now these have one longer lead than the other, so they go in a certain way. The long lead goes into the spot where it's marked with a positive symbol. And you bend those over. So there's four of these guys to install, soldered them in place, and then once they were soldered in place, I had to go through and, and clip their lead. So it's really just like putting a resistor in, but you got to make sure you get the right lead in the right hole. And you can check the 3D prints about halfway done. It's looking good. So I got the capacitors installed. The next step was the transistors. The transistors have a flat mark, which normally it indicates how it goes in. But on these boards, they had it set up with a pin going behind it, which is really a little different format. But... Uh, I just bent the pins back and put in the right spot and then soldered these guys. And then clipped those leads off and the transistors were all installed. So this is going along smoothly. The next step, they gave me extra LEDs. Now the red LEDs are what I'm going to use and you notice they also have one long lead. The short lead is the cathode which goes into the negative side. In this case it's the white marking on the board. So once I got those all in place, I soldered them in their location and then clipped the leads. And basically I had the, the boards done, but now I had to install the spring clips, which will actually sit on the batteries. So you have to feed them through these two little holes and spin it into the other hole and then solder them in place. Kind of hokey a little bit because it just sits on the battery. It doesn't really lock in. But once I had these soldered in place, I could test the board and you can see the LEDs flashing. It's a little bit dim because the bright lights of the camera. But the other board didn't have springs, so you have to connect one board to the other with this bare uh, wires 
and they go into a hole in one and then into a hole in the other and it was hard to get that thing to bend so I just bent it into a custom shape so it would go into both holes at the same time and then I pushed it down and then pulled both, si both sides to uh, make it flat and straight because this is what holds the boards together once these are soldered so I wanted them tight so I soldered these there's one for ground and there's one for power clip those off and this thing was ready to uh, test as a full Christmas tree. I set it on the battery and everything worked. So here it is, the 3D electronic Christmas tree. It came out great. So now we need to go back and see how our 3D printed Christmas tree looks. And here's the finished 3D print. Now, while it printed, I didn't sense a strong cinnamon smell. It was really, really mild, more like a cinnamon donut rather than a cinnamon broom type of thing. But it printed well, it printed really, really well. And here's a star that came off the mini, and here they are all together. Now, I don't think this is the best style, they really don't go together, but, ah, what the heck. I put them together for the video. So this print came out good. There's a little bit of stringing, but not too much. But, you know, I learned with other prints. I tried printing this in a green PLA, just some cheap inland filament, and I had all kinds of trouble with that. Then I tried some filament of green recycled PLA, and this thing printed good, but I printed it too fast. I printed it like 80 millimeters per second, and this one's actually smaller, but um, it printed good, but I knew I needed to slow it down. So I learned from the previous prints to make this one come out first try. So that helped, and there's a little bit of sagging in spots, but overall, it did a nice job. It doesn't smell like cinnamon anymore, so it's only when it's printing, and it's really, really mild smell. Now, if you're just getting into electronics, I think this is a great little kit for the holidays. I think it was under $10 on Amazon, and I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to build it yourself. But I love the simplicity of the circuit. I mean, obviously, I used it in my uh, on-air display. But this is fun. I think this is a great one to teach someone soldering and just basic electronics. And when you're done, you got something you can display for Christmas. Now, do these two go together? Eh, not really. I thought about printing a clear cone and so the LEDs could shine through, but the clear filament that I had, I actually tried it and it kept cracking. So it's 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 too old and probably too dried out um, to use. It just it just wasn't working. So this is what I ended up with. It was still fun. So if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. And if you want to see that on-air display, click on the video right here. If you want to see that resistor checker, click on the video down here. And if you want to help support the channel a dollar a month, click on the Patreon logo. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.